Hey guys, it's Monday morning again, blink and it's back. Um, I always complain about the freeze frames that these videos start on and I always start with these crazy faces, so it's really my own fault. Um, <clears throat> so, I am Emily Spicer Stewart, welcome to Monday morning, awesome to have you here. I've just dropped my children off at childcare and school and my little boy cried this morning and he hasn't, my, well he's my big boy actually, my six year old cried at school, he got hit in the head on the oval with a, foot, a wet football <laughs> and he came running up to me in tears which god I, I don't, I'm not sure that he's ever cried at school before so heartbreaking uh, morning so nothing, a hot chocolate and a live Facebook video won't help. Um, so I thought today I might showcase um, one of my amazing clients with you. So I get asked a lot of questions about what coaching really is and what you do in your sessions and how does it work and what will we work through um, and all of that kind of stuff. I think the concept of coaching is a little overwhelming for a lot of people uh, and I totally get that. Um, I felt the same um, when I was trying to find a coach for myself. I feel like I need to apologize for my hair just looking at myself. I'm so sorry. It's just been washed and it's just chaos. Work with me. Work. Just ignore it. Focus on this. Um, anyway, so coaching can be scary and it is a bit scary at times reaching out to somebody from like the, a complete stranger and going, hi, I need help. Can you help? Here's what I need to do. So I thought today I would talk you through um, one of my clients and show you her business or talk to you about her business and give you a little bit of behind the scenes action, I guess, on the sort of things that she was looking to get out of working with me and what sort of things we've been working on together um, and some of the top one results. Now, I can't share all the juicy details, but I think by talking you through a real life example of a, a real person in a real business, you'll get a really good sense for how business coaching works and the type of um, benefits that your business will see by working with somebody like myself and also give you the confidence to reach out and, and say hi or to um, introduce yourself and ask for some help. Now, whether that be with me or with anybody else, um, there's a bazillion, bazillion is not even a word, but there is a bazillion small businesses out there who are getting business coaching who are seeing awesome, awesome, awesome results. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. You lie. <laughs> Um, so my client today, drum roll, blah, 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 is Lucy from Baby Berry Collective. Now, if you haven't already heard of Baby Berry Collective, where have you been? Secondly, Lucy is the most amazing client, not that I've ever had because I have lots of amazing clients, but Lucy and I have hit the ground running from the get-go. We just seem to have this vibe that works with one another. Um, she sends me emails and I'm like, did you read my mind? Because I've been thinking exactly the same thing. Uh, so she has been beyond a dream client from the get-go. And her business, Baby Berry Collective, is a directory for mums who are looking to save time and keep their finger on the pulse when it comes to the latest and greatest of kids and baby gear. So um, you should check her out to start with, Baby Berry Collective. She co showcases some amazing Australian and New Zealand businesses and she prides herself on focusing on small businesses. So she really is about supporting the small, um, you know, the new kids on town who are doing something awesome with their business. And um, being a mum herself, she completely understands how tricky it is to find the latest things or understand what's going on or um, in the parenting land, not just in general. Um, and her business and her directory really was established with mums in mind. So how can I help mums find out on what the latest products are, help them shop, showcase awesome small businesses um, and do it in an easy kind of user-friendly way. And that's absolutely what she's doing with her business, which is like honestly makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Um, so check her out, full stop. Even if you've stopped watching this video now, go and say hello to Lucy. So when I first started working with Lucy, I guess she was feeling a bit isolated in her business. Um, you know, like most of us, working from home, on her own, juggling children and family and life, as well as a business. It's tricky 
to stay focused and it's hard when you're on your own and you don't have somebody to bounce those ideas off. So she came to me really looking for a sounding board um, and for some structure and strategy. So with all that life throws at us, with family and the madness and chaos of life as it is, you only have these really small pockets to work in your business or on your business even. It's like Tuesday morning, the kids are going to be here, so I'll work on my business and they're back in the afternoon, then I'll log back on at night. You kind of have to on, off, on, off, on, off, which is awesome in a lot of instances because you get the benefits of family and work, but it's tricky to keep things under control in your business. And Lucy and I have talked a lot about structure and strategy and being really considered with your time so that when you have, you know that you've got all day Tuesday, you don't kind of get to your desk and go, hmm, what will I do today? You've already got a really, really clear plan of attack and you know exactly what you need to do to get through the day. So I would say Lucy was looking for a sounding board, um, some structure and some strategy in her business. And being a directory, her number one priority was website traffic. So I can't begin to count the number of times she said website traffic, website traffic, website traffic to me. <laughs> and Lucy, if you're watching, bless, like good on you for being state, for remaining focused and prioritizing on what's going to drive your business. Um, so our big focuses have been on what can we put out there in the marketplace that will drive people to her website, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the tricky part about having a directory, as most of you know, and I have a few other directory clients as well, is that you really have two target audiences. And that's something that we unpicked really early in the piece. You've got your um, your mums or your customers or the visitors to your website who are coming to shop and want to spend money. So they're your customers. But you also have your clients, the people, the businesses that you showcase on your directory, the people that are paying to advertise on your space. Um, and to take advantage of all the eyeballs and all the traffic that you're driving to your website. So with those two clients in mind, we've set up a strategy for both of them to ensure that she's got a constant stream of income from her clients and a constant stream of customers coming to her website so that her clients are happy and re she retains them and so that her customers are happy as well. So it's a bit of a different challenge when you've got a um, directory based business because you do have those two focuses. So that's something we work through together um, and something that I'm really confident that Lucy's really clear on today. So when we first started working together, um, if I'm really honest, and I'm sure Lucy won't mind me saying this, I think Lucy, the Baby Berry Collective was running Lucy rather than the other way around. So I'm not saying she was completely out of control, bless, but it was, it was a bit chaotic. And I think she felt a little bit out of control and needed some help. Enter Emily. So when we first started working together, um, we firstly, we got really, really clear on those ideal clients. So we had clients and customers. Who are they? Where are they? What are they doing? What are they, where are they going now? Where are they shopping? Where are they spending their advertising money? What can we do to bring them into your business or into her business and to showcase um, the opportunity that Baby Berry has? And look, God, I, I don't think I've ever met anybody who works in a service-based business who goes above and beyond like Luce does. It is ridiculous how much uh, extra value she brings to her clients and how like frequently, daily, she goes above and beyond for her clients and her customers. Like there is never a thing that's too big or too hard for Lucy to help you with. If you've got a launch, she'll showcase you. She does amazing Instagram stories and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, and I know that both her clients and her customers are just ridiculously happy with working with her, which is just so nice to see. So the first thing we did was work through the ideal client or the ideal customer which was a really, really good process for both of us, for, um, to be honest. And we dug really deep on who she is and, and what's going on, which was great. Um, and then we then, to, to ensure that she has that consistent and ongoing um, activation plan in place, we put a full year, 12 month calendar in place. That's going through month by month by month. And all my other clients are probably going, yeah, I do the same thing. Bloody Emily. But getting really clear on what you're doing every single month of the year is absolutely critical so that you can plan ahead, get visibility on what's coming up. You can predict when the peaks and the troughs are going to be, when you're going to need extra help or when you'll have extra income or the times of the year where you've got nothing on the calendar is when before that time comes, you want to be able to go, oh, okay, August, there's nothing going on in August. What am I going to do? Rather than getting to August and going, oh shit, I've, I'm not going to make any money this year. I've got no, this month, sorry, or I've got no income coming in. So 12 month activation calendar was put in place 
And then we started working on what her sales funnel looks like. So what, um, how does she bring people into her business, both clients and also customers? So starting with the customers, Lucy now has a full-blown converting sales funnel in place, which is amazing. It's bananas how good it's, how well it's going. And I'm so, so proud of what she's doing. Um, so for you guys watching, you need to go to Baby Berry Collective and check out her sign up, her subscription um, offer. So Lucy's giving away a whole bunch. I think there's probably nearly 50 um, promotional codes, which are showcasing the businesses that she has on her directory and giving you a promotional code, like free value, like ridiculous. Um, so you sign up to be a part of her amazing community and you get this jam-packed booklet full of codes so that next time you want to go and buy any baby gear or any presents or gifts for anybody, you can take advantage of those offers, which, like, well, that's amazing, right? So um, Luce now has those new leads coming into her business. She's growing her email list. She's got new people coming into her business all the time and the buzz is spreading. People are starting to become more and more aware of what she's doing. Her clients are really happy and her customers are really happy. So, you know, word of mouth is taking over as well. Within that, um, we talked a lot about uh, the fact that she's got mums coming to her site who are buying for kids, but they're not buying for themselves because she was anchored in baby. So she's just about to launch, or just launching now, a, um, a directory within Baby Berry Collective that's specifically for mums. So that mums come and they, yep, they do their normal shopping and their normal research for what their children need, but also, why not, while you're there, buy yourself a little pair of earrings or check out what the latest lay of the land is um, with adult shopping as well. Adult shopping sounds terrible. Mum shopping, sorry. <laughs> it's Monday morning. Um, so the your directory is specifically for you. She doesn't want mums to miss out. It's all about mum, 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 mum. And having a business that's anchored in baby, it's important obviously to care for the mum as well. So there's a whole new branch of Lucy's business that we've been able to build and work on together, um, which is just coming to fruition now, which is again, super exciting. She's got new clients coming in. So she's showcasing new businesses and she's got new customers or she's got customers coming in, spending longer on her directory, which is building her website traffic. Like, win-win. That's amazing. She's doing an amazing job. So, um, and along with that, she's now got email sequences in place so that she's building connections and building relationships with all of those people that come into her business. And I harp on about this oh so often with my clients. And I'm an online shopping addict. I hope Tony's not watching. Um, and I reckon 90% of the businesses I buy from never contact me ever again after my purchase. I make a purchase and I fall in love with their product and I never hear from them again versus sending them, sending me a follow-up email and saying, hey, did you enjoy your purchase? Is everything okay? How did you find the scarf or what did you wear the earrings with or don't forget to tag us on social media or whatever it might be. Um, but people, business mums and business owners are just too busy running their business. So they're not nurturing and building that connection with their clients, which now Lucy is in Baby Berry Collective. So people will fall in love with her at the drop of a hat. I have absolutely no doubt once they come across her business, um, they will be hooked and they'll be coming back time and time and time again. The other really big thing that I'm probably my proudest baby berry collective moment. When I first started working with Lucy, I was talking to her about social media and she was always already um, pretty socially savvy, which is awesome, but petrified of getting on camera. And uh, like we all are, like, like honestly, all of us am, are, even myself, who's having a terrible Facebook live this morning. <laughs> it's just too early. So Lucy was I'm going to fumble, I'm going to mumble, I'm going to um and ah, I'm not confident enough, I don't want to have to do my face and do my hair all the time, proof in point you don't need to do your hair, um, but now with a little bit of encouragement, Lucy is on video through Facebook and Instagram every single week. She does an awesome Monday morning update, not too dissimilar to this one, but she showcases what's coming up on Baby Berry Collective for the week, which encourages people to get involved and watch out for this special feature article or you know, this freebie towards the end of the week or whatever it might be. And she does a really nice wrap up at the end of the week as well. But despite the content, she is on video, delivering video content for her audience every single week. And we all know that Instagram and video, or particularly, I mean, Instagram and Facebook, particularly Facebook, will turn into a video platform in no time. That's their mission in life is to become like a, a 
uh, video channel. Think YouTube. Um, so we, I was, I got Lucy <laughs> and she'll laugh cause she hated me for it, but I got her to send me a video just between her and I, she just recorded a video for me for about a week. Every day she would send me a new video. Um, and the first few, she hated herself for it. She probably hated me as well. And she cursed her way through bloody Emily having to do this. Um, but just getting familiar with being on film, being in front of the camera, delivering a verbal message or, or a out loud message. It's different when you're typing, but um, within no time, she was bloody legend. And to be honest now, she's an expert. Like she is so good on video. It's ridiculous. Um, she looks amazing and she's so clear. I'm, I'm, I've actually never heard her say, um, an R, which was her biggest fear of getting on video. Uh, and the reach and the traffic and the, um, additional eyeballs that are on her business now, because she's putting those videos out there are amazing bananas. She's doing such an amazing job. So I hope that helps you understand what coaching can be, the type of things we could work on together and how I might help you in your business. So I'm really confident that when Lucy started with me, she was feeling isolated and her business was running her. And on the flip side, yes, we all have crazy busy moments, but I really feel like Baby Berry Collective is doing amazing things and really um, elevating itself to a whole new level kind of month on month on month. And Lucy's confidently got a really clear plan in place. She knows exactly what she needs to do and when she needs to do it. Um, and with the launch of the new directory, the Your Directory specifically for mums, and with her new freebie, the um, discount codes, like she's absolutely smashing it, which credit to her. She works her butt off. She's working around her kids and about around life as well. But I just wanted to showcase for you this morning just an absolute rock star business that is doing amazing things um, that just needed a little bit of a helping hand and a little bit of direction. And that's where I come in. That's why you employ a business coach so that you have support, you have a sounding board, you get some fresh and different ideas in your business and you've got somebody there in your corner, no matter what. And we've had a couple of calls where, um, you know, things haven't been going amazingly well or she's been stuck at a fork in the road and not sure which, which path to take. And we've just worked through some of those problems together so that you're not sitting at home on your own feeling like you can only talk to your husband or, you know, the garbage man type thing. Having somebody who understands business, who knows how to market brands and businesses, um, really does help you propel things forward and to move faster and faster towards those goals. Um, income goals or community size goals or whatever they might be, launch goals, it does just help you move forward and faster. So if you would like to chat, um, no, firstly, you must go and check out Baby Berry Collective. So it's Baby Berry Collective, Baby Berry Collective. Lucy Green, she's a legend. You will not be disappointed by her directory, either of them. They're just amazing. Sign up for her subscription. She's got the offers that are on any mum needs to get involved because the offers that are there in her freebie are bananas. Um, and if you would like some help in your business with business, with, um, business coaching, setting some strategy, getting some structure in place, drop me a note. I'm around all week. Um, more than happy to chat. Like this is, this is my livelihood and this is why I love doing what I'm doing. Working with clients like Lucy just really does keep the fire in my belly boiling. So have an awesome week. I hope that, um, fills in some gaps and helps you feel a bit more confident about asking for help. Go and check out Baby Berry Collective. They really are rocking the world. And the businesses and the brands that are on the Your Directory for Mums, it's dangerous, really dangerous. My credit card, um, along with those amazing offers, is getting a workout, which is a good thing for all those businesses that Lucy's working with. Have an awesome week. Um, yeah, let's chat soon. Bye.